From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022, direct from Santa Monica to California today. We'll go over the Build Back Better Act which is a subject of a new letter obtained by LA News CR for stimulus, which is going to get another round this week. And those $80,000 of checks that now are live. I'm going to go over those incredible sums of money that viewers have gotten across the board. We'll be looking at six stimulus heating up because of the oil and energy situation unfolding dramatically overnight. What happened? Good news, but also confusing news, as now we know that 80% of the wheat from Ukraine and Russia services the Middle East. And now with that wheat gone, we could go into a major commodity meltdown. I'll have the latest details on six stimulus. Then we'll be looking back at what's happening with Vladimir Putin and why that Russian debt is about to default by the end of today. And what will be with those latest default victims across the board. It's six stimulus. I'll go over the latest details you need to know because recession could be in the horizon. Inflation heating up with the Fed speaking on that FOMC meeting starting today and tomorrow. And then major economic numbers released this morning of the PPI number. What does it say for your SSI benefits? I'll have the latest details of that. Big money and a big recording from the Build Back Better Act, number one. Those $80,000 of checks now live, number two. The CR, number three. SS300, number four. And also, six stimulus. We'll go over why oil prices dropped overnight and why 16 notes is still happening and the good and confusing news coming out of Russia. Those details and more as a big afternoon's LA heats up. Plus, stay to the very end as a personal message on two economic fronts comes from me to you in the final three minutes of this video. It's a personal message you don't want to miss and to the very end. It's a big afternoon with big money and we have all the incredible details from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's get it to it. It's afternoons. And good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Big breaking news across the board that you need to know that could impact your wallet. And it's more than just inflation. It's the recessionary concerns. We'll be turning to that second. We'll be going over the big money at issue. And we'll have a preview of tonight's broadcast of Evenings LA in prime time. You don't want to miss that special one-hour report. It's 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's Evenings LA, America's most watched financial news show in prime time. It's coming up tonight. We'll have a preview of it into this big afternoon's recording. But in today's recording, we'll go over all these incredible checks, starting with the Build Back Better Act, then the CR, then the SS300. Then we'll be turning to those $80,000 of checks, now alive. Then we'll be turning to six stimulus. And then also, my personal message of the final three minutes of this video, it's all economic personal messaging. I want you to say the very end, it's very important. But first, let's start with the Build Back Better Act, getting a major twist on Monday morning as a letter was sent from legislators to the White House. House. That letter obtained by Allied News says that they want the president to pass the four stimulus recon, and I detailed it yesterday on Eatings LA. I'll feature it tonight on Eatings LA. The president of the United States, meantime, saying that the four stimulus recon, the Build Back Better Act, will pass in a new interview over the weekend. Let's go to these incredible checks in this Build Back Better Act one at a time. Three clusters and three add-ons. We're going to go over each of them. But tonight in prime time, I'm going to go over each of those checks one at a time to show you what you're eligible for. It's a lot of money. And don't miss that recording tonight in prime time, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. $15,000 of checks to $60,000 in this Build Back Better. The first cluster has hazard pay and my essential workers, the children's checks, also the home repairs checks, and the checks for a new electric vehicle. The first add-on of checks comes from Maxine Waters, $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. How do you get it? I'll have it tonight in prime time in Evenings LA broadcast at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Don't miss it. A little bit less than $25,000 
you can get. In that second cluster, we have more home repairs and paid leave. Paid leave is up to four to $6,000 across the board. How do you get it? Again, it's CTL tonight in that primetime broadcast. The second add-on of checks is $250 billion from Bob Casey for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Then we turn to the incredible second, at, second cluster of checks where we find even more money at correction. Third cluster checks where we find even more money. It involves money, including money for my seniors and the also the independent contractors and the farmers. Let's look at that third cluster of checks starting right now. In that third cluster of checks, we have money for the seniors. Also, free internet for all checks, farmers checks, and independent contractors checks. When we look at the third cluster of checks, we get even more deliciousness, where we find the MSC. In that third add-on of checks, MSC, you would get that monthly IRS stimulus check. How much? Again, tonight in Evening's LA, we feature these checks in detail, so tune in for that broadcast. It's 7 o'clock Central Time. MSC would pay the same as a third. A single individual, $75,000 or less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you get it. $2,000 a first month, $1,000 or after. Who would get it? How would you get it? Tune in tonight. I'll go over those checks, and you don't want to miss that broadcast. It's Evening's LA, America's most watched primetime show at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. That is the third add-on of checks to the fourth stimulus recon, the Build Back Better Act, which the President of the United States says in a new interview after his State of the Union address, it's happening, which legislators in the House wrote the President of the United States a letter on Monday, detailed on this channel yesterday, that they're urging for its passage and it will get passed. But in addition to those MSC checks of the fourth stimulus Build Back Better Act, there are checks that are currently live, and they're a lot of money. How much? $80,000. Viewership of this channel has already pounced, and this is the fourth stimulus add-on. $80,000 of stimulus checks. Have you got to them? If you haven't, stay to this recordings. Second half, after the commercial break, we'll go over these $80,000 of checks. But let's turn to SS300, getting breaking news today. And the breaking news is the inflation. What's at issue? When we look at SS300, we're looking at whether inflation's going up or whether it's going down. SS300 is swapping out your benefits from COLA to inflation as the benchmark now before inflation goes down. And why are we worried about inflation going down? Because it will go down. Your head of the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, his job is to reduce inflation. How? Over the next five months, Jay Powell will have five meetings of the FOMC meeting. The first one is today and tomorrow. And at that meeting, he's going to do a quarter basis point for the month of March to reduce inflation raising up interest rates a quarter basis point for March 2022. We know that because he told us that last month. What is he going to do in April? On Amy's LA, I'll give you the latest update of that FOMC meeting, which has not happened at the time of this recording, taped earlier today, March 15th. But tonight, I'll likely give you the update what Jay Powell said during day one of that FOMC meeting. And tomorrow, day two. Why? Because if Jay Powell gives us indication what he's doing for April, which could potentially be stronger at a half basis point, then you want Joe to make that phone call. Joe, make the call. Which call? Joe Biden to make that phone call to the Social Security Administrator to swap out COLA for inflation before Jay Powell starts coming in more aggressively. Why would Jay Powell come in more aggressively? The breaking news at the morning of March 15th before the late day of March 15th is this. The day started with the PPI number released by Department of Labor, obtained by Allied News. This happened minutes ago. This is brand new today for Tuesday, March 15th. The Department of Labor released that PPI number, and guess what? It was a little weaker, yes. So it came in less than inflationary projections suggested may come in at. It came in at 0.8% when Wall Street was projecting, uh, projecting 0.9 to 0.10. It came in weaker, a sigh of relief, yes, a sigh of relief, meaning that this inflationary number missed its target. It came in weaker, sigh of relief long term, no, just for about 11 seconds, because guess what? We had that PPI, CPI number last Thursday, hot, very hot. We have the bond market featured yesterday and today and the last Friday, very hot. Bond traders are trading up the 10-year Treasury note on the belief that inflation is even hotter now in March. Remember these numbers I'm giving you today, the PPI and the CPI last Thursday are 30 days back. 
What's happening right now? That's the concern. And if CPI this month, which we don't get till next month, or PPI this month, or any of these inflationary benchmarks are too hot, then Jay Powell will come in more aggressively in April. So that is why you want Joe Biden to make the phone call. Let's go over the analysis. The way this works is very simple. Your cola to inflation. You want to lock in the highest inflation point of a generation now. 8% now. Last month, 8% now. If the inflationary number is reduced because of J-PAL, then you're going to get a less lifetime. Let's go over the analysis. If Joe made a swap today, you get locked in at 8%. That means your benefits go up $200 a month. Not this month. Not just this year. Lifetime. Yes, lifetime. If they wait and didn't make the phone call, Joe, then you would swap down to a lower rate, potentially 6%. After Jay Powell's come in with one, two interest rate spikes. You don't want to wait. You want Joe to make the phone call right now when it's at the highest rate. Now, later this year, inflation will go down to about 4%. Good. You'll get another $100 on top of that. That's SS300. But Joe made the phone call. Where did this come from? It came from JoeBiden.com, his presidential platform, adopting the Liz Warren campaign promise to swap out coal for inflation, not rocket science, not asking to take money from somewhere else. This is for you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, or veterans benefits, Joe make the phone call. What was the reaction to that CPI, that PPI number this morning? The reaction was the market is jittery. The market is jittery, says Chief Gene Goldman, Chief Investment Officer at Satera Investment Management. So concerned about the Russian innovation, inflation, and the Fed. With growing concerns of a bear market, investors are skinny. Why? Because the Dow surged up 328% of 1%. Ridiculousness. I got to say this on air. Yes, ridiculousness. The fact that the PPI number came in a less than a percentage point, it's 0.8 versus 0.9. It's not even one percentage point. Weaker than expected. Traders trading up the market? No, folks. Inflation is here. This is just one benchmark. And you delve into the numbers. Inflation was very hot. So you want Joe to make the phone call right now. What is Joe also doing? Joe is also getting ready. CR 2.0. Why? Because Joe Biden did not get his COVID money in the continuing resolution past last week. Nor do we get our $2,000 stimulus check. But we got local county stimulus. I can't cover everyone's county, so reach out to your local county news. County stimulus got in there. Why? Because legislators were watching me. <laughs> I cannot say it any other way. Legislators were watching me. In 2020, December, I made history by getting a $600 stimulus check into a CR. Never done before in the history of America. Why? Because the legislator says it doesn't belong in there. CRs aren't for stimulus for local citizens. Well, guess what? <laughs> Two years later, they got in there. Lots of stimulus for your counties. Incredible great news. Also incredible great news is the money for rent. This graphic right here shows you the huge $80,000 of stimulus checks are now live. I'm going to show you how to get that money plus rent money plus six stimulus. If you knew this channel, let me explain what's going on. I have a numbering system on this channel. And the numbering system doesn't mean one package has to be done before the other. They overlap. I can number them. I can give them colors. I can give them letters. Or I can give them, uh, you know, names of lobsters. <clears throat> so we're doing numbering systems. Third stimulus right now is rent and homeowners assistance. So if you rent, you get money. If you're homeowners, you get money. I'm going to go over that later in this video. Fourth stimulus is the Build Back Better Act for all of you. Not law yet. And then we have the homeowners grant, $80,000 of stimulus checks for homeowners. It's coming up after the commercial break. Have you gotten it? Then we have six stimulus heating up at the same time. It will go to the finish line in early April, says those leaders of Germany, France, and the United States. We'll be looking at that in the second half, impacted by what's happening with wheat. I have breaking news about wheat and the commodity industry, which could potentially send us into recession. I have breaking good news about oil. Brand new details of a major potential deal back in the works for oil. This could alleviate a lot of your problems at the pump. Then we'll be going into... All these other sums of money you need to know and a personal message for me. It's coming up in the first, second half. But first, let's look at that map of the $80,000 of checks. $80,000 of stimulus checks are now live. Why? Because you'll watch this channel. Two Fridays ago, I detailed to you that an $80,000 stimulus check was going live. 
the following Monday. It was not covered in broadcast media, print media, or anywhere else. It was buried by the White House in just a simple little statement. It became a law and immediately ran it for the viewership of this channel that night in the evening's most watched financial news show, LA Light. Evenings, LA Light. You want to watch it tonight at 5 o'clock because I have more breaking news for big money for you. That night immediately was floated into the newsletter that night by me so that the membership of this channel immediately got the information and has been in every newsletter from Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube list system. Become a member and coming after the commercial break, I'll show you how to get these $80,000 of checks. If you haven't gotten it and just found this channel, become a member right now. We'll go over all these big, incredible monies, plus six stimulus, plus the oil situation, getting a major development over new, overnight. Will it happen? All the latest details of that. Plus, we look at six stimulus. Yes, it's happening. And what is involved is breaking as well as we see a new concern about the wheat industry. This is the bread, the cornmeal, and everything you get at the supermarket how it's going to be impacted. All those details and more as we go into the second half. But first, here's a community page. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now from Santa Monica, California, as we go into the big second half and look at that incredible map of $80,000 of checks you can get. All the latest details on that in the second half. Then breaking developing details, it's good news about the oil situation. It's huge, and could this deal happen on the latest in afternoons? Then we'll be looking at six stimulus. This is happening at the same time as fourth, fifth. And what is involved? What is happening both domestically, internationally, and in your state? I'll have all the big sums of money coming up. But first, let's go over the big $80,000. We'll feature this more in evening's prime time. Evening's LA, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. You don't want to miss that show because I have a lot of breaking news that I'm waiting for, including those developing details between Ukraine, Russia, and your money. But first, let's look at this check, this, this chart, this map. This is moolah. This is money from West Coast to East Coast, North and South. What's at issue? Last two Fridays ago, the United States government announced an $80,000 of stimulus check program that went live last Monday. And immediately I told the viewership of this channel to get your application on file. Let's go over the details right now. If you're a member of this channel, you got it. You've already got it because it's been featured in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for now over about a week. If you have not become a member, become a member. The link's at the top of the video. The program first is called the Homeowner's Grant, as explained on this channel, but the whole name is actually featured in the membership newsletter. It's actually longer than that name in the name. Number two, it's fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household. So if the household has two, four, six members, you don't double it, you don't triple it. It's fifteen dollars to $80,000 of stimulus checks. Number three, it's free money. You don't have to repay it. It is not a loan. You don't have to take a credit check. That I got that question. It's a, very quick, it's a great question. It's not a loan. It is a grant. Number four, um, you have to understand 
how to go get this money. And let's go over all those incredible details right now. It's unwritten by the federal government, but it's administered by your state. And so the membership lose, the membership newsletter sent to you has the name of the program, has the link to go into the links, and then also has the incredible details. It is to cover items that viewership of this channel has wanted to have covered for a very long time. The things that homeowners want assistance with, like mortgages, like association fees, like home repairs, like uh, property taxes, like utility bills, and more. The eligibility is incredible. It's the same as a third symbol check. Single individual, 75000 or less, you get it. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get it. And if you're on benefits, you qualify so long as you own a home and you also have that income qualification. If you rent, stay with me because I'm going to have money for you as a renter in just a second. I got you all covered on today's recording. Now, the if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, or more, and you are within the zone of income qualification, you get this if you own a home. It's that incredible. Later in this recording, I urge you to stay to the final five minutes because I have a new detail about this grant I want to go over with you. I want to go over it with you in detail and give you my personal opinion of it. It's coming up in the final five minutes of this video. Stay to the very end. All right, now, how do you get this money? Become a member today. Go under this video or at the top of this video and click the membership link. Become a member and you will get the newsletter Monday through Friday. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. If you got an alert about this video, you get that alert at 7 o'clock. It's automated. It's not sent out individually. It's not sent by email. It's not sent by poster. It's not sent by lobster. It's not sent by waivable check. It's not a PDF. It's not a balloon. It's not a pinata. <laughs> it is a YouTube alert. And so if you got some YouTube alert about this video, you'll get that YouTube alert. It's at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, automated, sent directly to all the thousands of members of the channel. And there you go. But say the final minutes of this video, I have more about that across the board. You know, six stimulus is getting very fascinating because six stimulus is unlike anything we've seen in this channel. First stimulus was COVID. Second was to be for COVID. It didn't become law. Then third, Joe Biden's first was coming out of COVID. And the Build Back Better Act, certainly still in the works, is to come out of COVID. Fifth is still in the works. Viewers have asked me to talk about fifth. Yes, great point. Fifth is still in the works. That is for my beneficiaries. Even if we don't get the other items, don't get the first item done right away, fifth is for the other items. And then six is for Putin. I call it for Putin because there's no other way to say it. I'm not going to say six is for oil because it's not just for oil. At the time of this recording, which is March 15, 2022, it is currently for oil, the commodities, which is wheat, grain, soybean, and corn, and things like that. Third, the, the, um, the banking industry. And fourth, any type of equation with China. Okay, so let's go over the details right now. The reason why there is a six stimulus package is because world governments led by the trifecta of the progressives in the United States, Joe Biden, Emmanuel Macron, who's up for re-election in France, the president of France, and the, the leader, the chancellor of Germany, all have agreed to get off of Russian products. But to get off of Russian products will send their economies into a tailspin, into a recession, unless they do the following. Increase debt spending domestically to give out stimulus to their citizens. Case in point. The current price of gas in the United States is $4 a gallon, plus or minus a few cents, depending on the day, based upon the AAA national average across the board. That is not a sustainable number. That is not a sustainable number caused by Vladimir Putin. So if that number stays in place through the month of May, we go to recession. How do you get that number buffered from out of? How do you get that number a change? You may not get the number changed. And so the number may get worse. The way you afford the number is six stimulus. So this is what started two weeks ago when Anthony Blinken, our Secretary of State, reached out to Germany to get off of Russian oil. They said, we can't. Our economy going to recession. Then they realized, wait a second, we have to get off of Russian oil. We have to get off everything Russian. And if we get off of it, then how do we buffer it economically? We debt spend. And so that is the trifecta. So when? 
you want to watch that April deadline, in my opinion, it's not a hard, fast deadline. It's not like someone wrote this deadline down. It's a, it's my opinion of the situation. Why? And I'm not alone in this opinion. We're watching Macron's re-election bid. If Macron is re-elected in France, then the trifecta is intact. Biden, Germany's chancellor, and Macron in France. That trifecta, we get this done. That's number one. That's when. Number two, the what. What is it for? It's for oil. It is for wheat. It's for the banking industry, and it is for China, and it's also for Putin, the overwhelming subject of Putin. Now, let's go over the oil situation first, and I have breaking news on that front right now. The oil front at the moment has breaking news overnight. If you notice the data, yeah, you may have been surprised. Brent crude featured on this channel since day one of the Russian invasion shot from 100 as high as 140. We've been watching it daily on this channel. And remember this channel, it's actually feeding the newsletter every night. So what is Brent crude earlier today, shortly before sunrise, Pacific Standard Time, March 15th? For the first time since the Russian invasion, it fell under $100. Why? Here's two parts of analysis. One, there is no analysis. <laughs> Part one of the analysis is it's just ridiculousness. It's unsubstantiated. Some financial analysts I was listening to this morning said, it's just ridiculous trading oil trading that is unsubstantiated, you know, sort of like uh, like a meme stock, mem stock that just sort of goes up. That's number one. I do think there's a little bit of um, a meat to it, and I'll tell you which one it is. There is reports, rumors, uh, led by rumors from Sergio, Sergei Lavrov, who is about as rumorous as I can as it could be, Russia's foreign minister. Uh, and the rumor is that the Iranian negotiations between the United States, Iran, uh, Germany and France, which halted abruptly on Saturday, are potentially back on. Potentially back on. Why is this big? Iran is the subject of a nuclear embargo since 2015. And that nuclear embargo is because they, the, the, the alliances, the Western alliances, wants Iran to disarm nuclear warheads. And if they do, then we will allow Iranian oil back into circulation for a domestic part for us, and our foreign allies. This would solve energy crises like you've never seen. You drop down to two dollars a gallon overnight. It's absolutely incredible. The problem is that after weeks of negotiations, where we, where I've been detailing that maybe this would come to de, uh, to formation about uh, May, the talks ended abruptly on Saturday. They walked out on Saturday in Vienna, and why the rumors were Putin told them to stop negotiating Russia. So Lavrov, who is the foreign minister, says the negotiations could be back on. Why? It's really unclear, but I'm going to take it for just that. Here is Jeffrey Hanley, senior market analyst at Onada today, March 15th. Growth concerns about Ukraine and Russia's stagflation wave and FOMC hikes will make the negotiations hard and are weighing on oil prices. It seems that the old adage that the best cure for high prices is high prices as strong as ever. What is his takeaway? His takeaway is that the first analysis, there may be no explanation why the Brent crude fell nearly 8% this morning. 8% is huge, folks. From 10, I think it was one, what was it last night on Evening's Alley? It was uh, one, it was one, I think 12 last night on Evening's Alley to 98 this morning. The day before, it was 118. This is a dramatic fall. This is a dramatic fall. In fact, at one point, oh, at one point this morning is 96. My here in my notes. At one point it's 96, just for a second. At the time of this recording, it's about 100. So it's gone up back up from where it was earlier this morning. Fascinating. So what's the issue for oil? They need to ramp up production domestically in the United States and they have to ramp up production overseas. I'll have more about that later in a second. But this energy situation could get this major deal from, uh, from, from Iran. I'll be on top of the story. The second part of the equation is wheat, and I've not featured wheat on this channel in details in a, in a while. Today I am. Why? For the first time, I guess someone's really watching me on the wheat channel. Because uh, guess what? A new report says that our allies, the Western allies, and some of the countries that we're not particularly allies with, like Egypt, get 80%. Did you hear me right? 80% of their wheat from Ukraine and Russia. Oh boy, this is like a ticking time bomb like you've never seen. When we talk about 3% of our oil comes from Russia, when we talk about 40% of Germany's oil comes from Russia, that's nothing. When we talk about 80% of people's wheat, what entire country comes from Russia and Ukraine. 
if that wheat is gone, which I got to tell you, in about two weeks, I'm going to say it's gone. I'll tell you why in a second. If it's gone, that is a recession like you've never seen. Come in. Let me go over the analysis. Wheat is the same as oil. None of it or a shortage of it, the price goes up. It's very simple. So I know we got farmers in the United States where you can ramp up production. I'll feature more about what they can do in that street and stimulus show tonight at 7 o'clock. The White House can ramp up production domestically. But without ramping up production of our current growers or our partner allied growers like in France, guess what? We're heading for a wheat shortage. And with a wheat shortage, the price of bread, the market, is not going to be, you know, $3, $4 a loaf. It will be $8 a loaf. It will be $10 a loaf. Guess what? You ain't going to be able to afford wheat or bread at $10 a loaf. And that ain't going to be for one month. Here's the problem. When you talk about wheat, it is not like oil. Oil you can fix in two weeks, get a different barge to a different country, put it in the barge, send it off. Wheat. The crops of Ukraine and Russia are being lost for this season. Well, we already know that. What about next season? We're about, I think, a week or two from losing the crop for next season because you got to prepare the soil, tend the soil for next season. Guess what? There's no farmers because they're fighting a war. And there's also cluster bombing ruining the crop soil. So this could be years to come. And guess what? There's no alternatives ready to go. This is a big problem, and that is why six stimulus is heating up. Number three, the banking industry. One of the major U.S. banks this morning, it's not a bank, actually. It's a brokerage firm. One of the major brokerage firms says it prepared itself. I'm not going to name the name because I think the comment's ridiculous. The comment was we prepared ourselves for the risk of a Russian implosion of the banking industry for at least two months. <laughs> I got to tell you, it's a ridiculous quote because this war is going to be more than two months. So they have only prepared themselves for the Russia risk. Let me tell you what's at issue. U.S. banks have investments in Russian bonds, have investments in Russian equities. And if one U.S. bank says they're prepared for two months of the problem, uh, here, I'll get to show you right now how ridiculous that is. Here you go. You ready for this? April 4th. If you've ever known a date for Vladimir Putin trying to um, sweat in his shirt at, on, a, on a particular day, it is April 4th that Vladimir Putin's going to sweat. Why? April 4th is the date of... That is a big bond due date. Let's go over the details. Russia, by the end of today, is likely to default for the first time in decades. Now, when we say default, what does it mean? It means that it will not be able to reach its debt obligation. What are the debt obligations? Here I go. I'm going to actually show you the dates and the debt. For March 16th, Vladimir Putin has a 73 uh, has two interest rate payments, 73 million and 44 million. Not a lot. Mm. So we're worried about March 16th economically at the United States. No, 73 and 44 million dollars of debt defaulting on it's not a lot. March 21st, 66 million. Okay, it's growing. March 28th, 102 million. Okay, it's larger. Here you go. March 31st, 31st, 88 million of interest. Those are all interest before that, by the way. And 359 million a principal. Okay, now there is principal default. You can't default on principal. It's different than interest. And then here comes the whammo. April 4th, $45 million of interest and $2 billion of principal. Ironically, what's also April? Macron's re-election date. So this April 4th date is really, if you're going to ever see a reason why Vladimir Putin would would uh, would cease fought, would agree to end the war, it's because he's going to default on April 4th for $2 billion of principal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, could it be that simple to figure out this war? Maybe it is. Maybe he's going to settle a war on April 3rd at 11 o'clock p.m. Because this is really serious that day. At present, the message is that the Minister of Finance in Russia is willing and able to pay for the debt, but it's being prevented by the sanctions of the Western Alliance. Well, yeah, that's until the principal comes due of $2 billion on April 4th. So that is third stimulus. That is why third stimulus is needed. What does third stimulus look like? It's going to be massive amounts of checks from Germany to German citizens, France to France citizens, and the U.S. to U.S. citizens. It will be federal stimulus. Then there'll also be state stimulus. The first detailed, uh, the first recording of this channel about six stimulus was on March 8th. And that evening, the leaders of respective states, governors, Republicans, Democrats, all say, we're doing another package for our citizens because they cannot afford these prices of gasoline. So you're going to see this on an international level, a national level, and a state level. Wow. Incredible details across the board. 
Uh, rent. There is so much money for rent. And I forgot to bring on air one of my notes. I had another success story for rent overnight. It was a huge one. It was $25,000. And it came up last night in Evening's Allied's live chat. If you've not watched Evening's Allied, it's the most watched show in financial news in prime time because there's always someone in the live chat with a big success story for rent for Third Stimulus. This is Third Stimulus, and I'll feature that individual tonight on that program. This is Third Stimulus. It is for renters. It is for homeowners. And how to get these incredible sums of money? Let's follow the video along. And coming up right after this video, I have my personal message about how to get that $80,000 of checks. Stay with me. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, and your county housing authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. You must do three things. You must reach out to all six places, you get that membership newsletter, and get multiple applications on file plus do multiple rounds. The average round of this channel is three to five months, but some of you are getting all the way out to 11 months. Become a member. That link is under the video. Become a member because you will get the information about third stimulus. And, of course, those $80,000 of checks, which I'm going back to in a second. The membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, features all this mon money in there. Get it right today. Let's continue. Then, also, make sure you rely on those nonprofits. Those nonprofits really pay for a lot of sums of money. And those sums of money are often home repairs. Go get it across the board. The average view of this channel has gotten $45,000 for these sums of money. Get it today. Don't wait. I want you to get these big sums of money. You are owed it. You need to, and, and you deserve it. Get that membership newsletter and get this money today. Incredible details across the board. Now, let's go back into those $80,000 of checks. Let's go over a little bit more about those checks. And then I'm going to go over some opinion about the situation and also third stimulus. If you're looking at this map, how do you get these checks? If you're in a teal state like California, Florida, it means that the program is currently alive in accepting applications, and it means it's currently paying out. If you're in a pink state, it means that it's currently receiving the applications but not yet paying out. And then if you're in another color state, then it may indicate that it's waiting to open the application process but hasn't done so. What you need to know is that every state is rolling out across the union and that there's money everywhere. It looks just like unemployment benefits day one of this channel, which was April 25th, 2020. On a deserted beach, I said, there's a new program. It's about to go live in three days. It's called PUA. April 25th, I said, apply. It's receiving the applications now, but it's not paying now. Apply today. Guess what? Three days later, it went live in some states. And the day it went live, viewers were surprised it was live. They were also surprised. They had cash in their bank account. Yes, for those of you who applied the very first day it was open to receive the applications, they got paid the first day it opened completely. So you don't want to wait for these programs. You want to pay. You want to apply right now when the application is open, which tees me up for my commentary today. And I want to go over two subject matters. First, I want to go over these $80,000 of checks. And then I want to go over another subject matter as well, which involves your money. First, Last night, in one of our new shows on this channel, which is called Sunset LA at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I was on the live chat. I just wanted to jump in there to see how people were doing. And there was one, there were two viewers who had a very serious a series of interesting comments. I engaged with them because I wanted to turn it into a learning experience for you and also for them. Let's start with the first individual. The first individual was a member. So this is a person who has gotten the newsletter to learn about the $80,000 of checks. What did the individual who's a member say? The individual wrote in the live chat so that other people would see it, the following comment. As to the homeowner's grant, the viewer individual said, you have to be behind on your mortgage payments to qualify in most states, including Tennessee, where I'm located. That was a comment. So I wanted this to turn this into a learning experience. Guess what? Guess what I did? You know exactly what I did. I went right to the Tennessee website. It took me all the 11 seconds because I'm a member as well of the channel. And I clicked the link from the membership newsletter. I went into Tennessee and I looked up the eligibility. It took all the 11 seconds. What did it say? It did not say you had to be behind on your, on your payments. Absolutely not. It just said you have to say that you have impact, been impacted negatively because of COVID. 
That's the same thing as we've always had since day one on this channel, that you're negatively impacted because of COVID. Remember the, the graphic with the woman that I just showed you for third stimulus? Uh, rent assistance because of COVID. Utility assistance because of COVID. You just have to say that you're impacted because of COVID and, and that you are impacted because of COVID. You don't have to be behind on your bills. So the viewer was incorrect as to her own state. So I immediately said to her, you're in Tennessee. I just went to the Tennessee website. It's wrong. It doesn't say that. Why did you just say that as to your own state? Why did you just not apply? The viewer didn't respond. The member didn't respond. Then I said, why did you just tell a crowded live chat for all these other people not to apply uh, based upon a statement that they have to be behind, which is absolutely untrue. It became a larger subject, and I'll get to that in a second. The next person in the live chat then responded back to me and said, uh, you know, it's it's great, the $80,000, but I don't wish I could get I wish I could get it. I said, why can't you get it? He says, I'm a renter. Oh, I said, that's good. You can get third stimulus. Let me show you how. He said, no, I don't qualify. I said, why don't you qualify? And I wanted this attorney to experience. The viewer said, I'm in Missouri. They don't have rent assistance because of COVID. They do. <laughs> I've got the viewers, a fortune for rent assistance in, in Missouri for COVID. Uh, I've also had the nonprofits pay for rent assistance in Missouri. So it was it was a two for one special that and that's live chat. I had a double learning experience. So I told the viewer, no, that's incorrect. Go get it. What did I learn from that exchange and what happened thereafter? With making it short for you. What I learned from that exchange was one. There is a sort of new aura among some individuals that everything is a no. And I don't know where it comes from. It's very unhealthy. It's very unhealthy to say everything is a no. $80,000 of checks are available across the country. The first recording I made on this, someone was saying, it's not available in some states. I just said it's available in every state. <laughs> then some people say, oh, it's Ohio, it's pink. It's not available. Why did you see the color pink and assume pink meant no? Again, does pink mean no? A pink is a beautiful color. Maybe it was black, maybe it meant no. <clears throat> maybe it had a cross out and Mitch's face on it, maybe it meant no. But is pink, did pink invoke the color that re reaction no? So there is this new aura that I'm seeing with some people, everything is a no. I gotta tell you, in the time that you're saying no, you've lost the opportunity to be in line before someone else. In the one day or half a day that you self-proclaimed yourself no, 500 people in your state, maybe 1,000 people in your state got in front of you. And guess what? They are going to get paid before you because you said no. But I'm more concerned about other people that are in a live chat that may have seen that person said no and then they didn't want to apply because someone else said no. I got to tell you, it's a bad illness to keep on saying no to everything. And I know it exists there because guess what? In the first week of this channel, the most popular video of this channel, the most popular video of the entire financial industry ever made was made by me. And what was that video? It was to tell Americans that a first stimulus check can be received by SSI, SSDI, and Social Security recipients. Why did I make the video? I made the video because at the time I had noticed that someone had told beneficiaries that they don't qualify for anything before this channel came around. They have been embedded with an notion that they don't qualify for anything ever. Do you notice why how to this day I spend a lot of time always talking about eligibility? Because on some way along the line, people have told people they don't qualify. But even after I tell people they qualify, then some people still want to say, no, I don't qualify. I got to tell you, it's a very bad illness. So please don't do it. Second thing is a very strange situation. And I want to address it to you directly, which is that when I law show you the opportunity to get sums of money, you have to pounce Purple Hawks. I have to understand that coming to this channel, you bring a certain skill set. If you don't have that skill set, you have to have someone help you. This channel is a financial news channel. This is not a channel to teach you how to use a computer. So if you don't know how to use a computer, you got to get ready with your son, your niece, your daughter, your next door's neighbor to help you with a computer. I am not here to help you with a computer. Daily, I'm receiving somewhere upwards of 200 to 300 private messages for people who want me to help them use a computer. Let's go over the analysis when we look at this grant program and all these other sums of money. When you go to the grant program, you're going to have to go to a website. So if you don't know how to go to a website when sent a link, that's a problem. Number two, 
when you go to the website, it's going to ask you to upload a copy of documents. So you're going to have to know how to scan the document and upload it. What is uploading a document? If you don't know what that is, you need to get your son or daughter to help you. If you don't know how to put a document on a computer and upload it, or take a picture of it with your phone, which is very easy. You know how to take a picture with your phone and upload the computer, the picture, the picture with your phone. Very simple thing, thing to do. It only takes 10 seconds for your neighbor's son to show you. If you don't know how to do that, you need to ramp up the skill set. My job here is to help people get some money. And last night I got a message, which I got to tell you, unacceptable. I got a message last night at 6.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Why am I laughing? You know why. Notice the time, 6.45 Pacific Standard Time. The viewer sent me a message at 6.45 Pacific Standard Time saying, I want the newsletter now. Give it to me now. I demand it. <clears throat> I'm not joking and I'm not embellishing this. That's actually the message. I said to the viewer, you know, it's 15 minutes to go until seven o'clock. <laughs> no, I want it now. I demand it right now. I then politely explained to the viewer that the membership newsletter is not sent me is not sent by me pushing a button 3,000 plus times to all, all the thousands of viewers. <laughs> it's not sent, sent by me sending it to your email address by pushing the, my finger 3,000, 4,000 times. If you think I have the time to do that, then I, 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 I applaud you. I do not have the opportunity to push my, a button 4,000 times every single night, Monday through Friday. It's sent automated. You know there's a new thing called computers where things are automated? It's wonderful. It's been around a couple of years. So it's sent by automation at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard. On the spot. Sometimes maybe a few seconds before, sometimes a few seconds after. So for that viewer who wanted exactly to her, to deliver to her 15 minutes ahead of time, God bless you, not happening. Also, I gotta tell you, y'all have to tone it down a notch because that is not gonna be accepted. And if it continues, I'm gonna stop it and I'll have a way to stop it. Trust me, I will. And you're not gonna like it, but I'm gonna love it. You're not gonna send me those type of messages. If, if you continue, I'm not gonna allow you to send me messages. That's the takeaway. So understand, be polite. <laughs> Be polite. Embrace the computer. The computer is your friend. And if you don't know how to use the computer, then reach out to the neighbor's son or daughter. They will help you. Meantime, we have a lot of breaking developing details tonight on Indies LA, and I will have them for you as well. I want to show you something to end with as a personal as part of my personal commentary. Do you see this? This is preparation for today's video. Every time that someone sends me a message like that, it takes away from this. This is everyone else's money. I'm here to get you money. I'm not here to receive your demands of to push a button for you. And every time you do that, you hurt someone else's economic stability. So please tone it down a notch. And with that, for those people who want Sir Loin back, I'm working on it. I'm so literally working on my voice. To the extent that I can drop down to those tones to deliver you Sir Loin, I will try it. Uh, I will try my best. I could not do Sir Loin's voice uh, a few weeks ago. I think you think I can now, and I think you're right. So I will try to get Sir Loin back as soon as possible. I've seen your messages, and I love it across the board. And he does as well. He's eating grass, and um, he's not eating wheat because... <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a topic for Sirloin. Uh, if Sirloin was eating the wheat, then we'd have a bigger shortage across the board. Meantime, join me tonight in Eden's Prime Time. We'll have all the breaking developing details about your big money. We'll be looking more at those $80,000 of checks, the oil, and the six stimulus. Also, the incredible details of the Build Back Better Act, the CR, and the latest details about that SS300. We'll have the latest update about what Jay Powell said today by Evening's LA. It's a big broadcast tonight. It's a 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Ally for more. <laughs>